All right, so draw a place value disk to represent the value of the following expressions. Expressions is another way to say equation. Is another way to say a number sentence, okay? So expression is uh, just another way to say that. So um, we look down here, and I'm going to see 2 times 3. That's 6. Two groups of 3 is 6. When I see that multiplication sign, I think groups of in my head. All right, so filling this out, so it says 2 times 3 ones um, is 6 ones, okay? So that shows 2 times 3 ones is 6 ones. And what does that look like? Here's two groups of three. There's a group three. There's a group three. Two groups of three is six. See how that is? All right, two groups of three ones is six. So if it's done vertically like this, it's just two times three. So we want to start down here and say two times three, and that's six. So here's the pattern. This is how this thing goes, okay? So I've got two times 30, all right? So 2 times 30, if I take two 30s, just like two 3s, so 2 times 3 is 6, I put that 0 on the end. And if you really think about it, two, group, two groups of 30 is going to be 60. And what does that look like here? Well, here's 30, all right? 1, 10, 20, 30. There's a group of 30. And here's a group of 30. Two 30s is 60, so 6 10s. So that'd be 60, just like that. See how that works? All right, so two times three tens is six tens. And that's what six tens looks like. And it comes out to be 60, all right? Moving on to this one. Two times 300, you see how we have the two times three, two times 30, two times 300. This is the patterns that we were talking about in our uh, I can statement. All right, so we know that two times three is six. Well, it's not just six, it's gonna be, it's because this is two 300, so it's gonna be 600. So two times three hundreds, all right, three hundreds, is six hundreds. All right, for some reason they didn't leave me enough room right there, okay? <laughs> So two times three hundreds is six hundreds. So again, here in a hundreds place, if I have three hundreds, there's a group of three, but I have two groups of those, all right? That turns out to be one, two, three, four, five, six hundreds. So six hundred, just like that, okay? And then down here is two times three thousand. You can imagine what that's gonna be, right? So two times three is six. But it's in the thousands now, so it's thousands. So I've got two times, two groups of, three thousands. Okay, that's equal to six thousands. I know I'm going super fast, teacher. So if you need to stop and explain any of this, by all means, please do. So down here in our place values, we see thousands. Here's a thousands place. I have two groups of three in that in that in that place value. So here's a group of three thousand, and then here's a group of three thousand. There's my two groups of three in the thousands. So that's six thousand all together. That's what that looks like. Okay, moving on to the back, the next page. All right, so we've got find the products. Here we have all these things. Is find the products. All right. I'm going to do the first couple, and then I'd like you to pause this and do the rest and see how you do it, all right? We'll correct this right after you're done, all right? So here, two, 20 times 7. Let's do 2 times 7. That's 14. And that's not just 2 times 7. It's 20. So there's my 0. I put that in the end. That's 140. Let's try the next one. 3 times 60. Hmm. Well, if I just do three times six, remember your place value chart, that would be 18. And I had to remember myself, well, it's not just three times six, it's three times 60, that's a 10. So I have to put a zero at the end to make sure that represent tens, 18 tens. That's 180, okay? If you follow these patterns all the way through, you'll have a lot of success, all right? So pause now, teachers, let the kids give this a shot. Monitor the room and, and adjust for help and um, play this when we're ready. Okay, so pause now. 
Okay, so I hope you um, did this okay. Uh, we're gonna go through each one now, see how I did, all right? So C was 1,200. D was 1,600, all right? Moving on down, E is 210. F is 360. G is 1,600. H is 32,000. I is 150. J is 300. K was 2,000. And I was 40,000. Okay? All right. Uh, teachers, you can pause and explain any of these if you wish. All right, let's get going on, on number six. This is a word problem, okay? So with word problems, I always, out of abundance of caution here too, is I'm going to restate my question. It says, Brianna buys three packs of balloons for her party. Three packs of balloons. I've done that before, right? Haven't you? Gotten a pack of balloons, a whole bunch comes in them. Well, in these packs, there's 60 balloons in each pack. See how it says each pack has 60 balloons? How many balloons does Brianna have? So I'm gonna restate this question in words, all right? To show my teacher and anybody, whoever else is reading this, that I know uh, how to answer a question the right way. So here we go. So Brianna has three backs of balloons. So I'm going to show a tape diagram with three packs of balloons, just like that, okay? Now, each one of those balloons, each one of those packs has 60 balloons in each. 60, so I'm gonna write that right in, 60 in each. Okay, what we wanna know is how many does she have all, all together? See, that's three groups of 60. So over here, we're gonna show our work. We read it, we drew it, and now we're gonna um, write it. Okay, so I've got three groups of 60, okay? That equals, I've done this before. I'm gonna multiply these numbers first, three groups of six, all right? That's 18, remember? Six, 12, 18, but it's not just six, it's 60, so I make sure that I have my zero at the end. It's 180 balloons all together. So now I'm gonna restate my question, but with the answer. How many balloons does Brianna have? Brianna? has 180 balloons, just like that. Great, on to the last page, okay? So teachers, feel free to pause here and have the kids do them on their own or just continue to watch, all right? Because we're going, I'm gonna finish these up to make sure that we are uh, doing okay. All right, so Jordan has 20 times as many baseball cards as his brother, period, stop. Oh, 20 times, all right. 20 times as much as his brother. So that's 20 times, all right? So I'm gonna multiply whatever his brother has by 20. Oh, his brother has nine cards, okay? So that's how much his brother has. And Jordan has got 20 times that. So how many cards does Jordan have, okay? So his brother has nine cards, all right? So how does that look as a... Um, a tape diagram, okay? So I'm gonna write down, here's his brother's cards, okay? That's nine. His brother has 20 times that, okay? 20 times that. So I'm going to draw 19 more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So this is gonna be my answer. Now, oh, not 20 there, it says question mark, good. I'm not gonna write my nines and all that. I get the point here. There are 20 times his nine. So read, draw, write. I'm going to show that he's got 20 times nine. Okay, so what do we do here? I'm gonna multiply two times nine. I know that, 18. And it's not just two times nine, so it's 20 times nine, it's a 10. Put that on the end, that's 180. 
So, how much does he have? Just like our last problem. I'm going to restate the question. How many cars does Jordan have? Jordan has 180 cards. All right, notice that I labeled my number. I just didn't say a number, okay? All right, and then finally this last one. The aquarium has 30 times as many fish in one tank as Jacob has. Okay, I wonder how many Jacob has. The aquarium has 90 fish. Okay, okay. So how many fish does Jacob have? Okay, so Jacob, I'm gonna just say Jacob, had, um, the aquarium has 30 times that amount. All right, I'm not gonna draw a tape diagram for this one. And that equals what the aquarium has, all right? Well, Jacob, could be, uh, times 30, the aquarium has got 90, 90 fish, okay? So what do I do here? All right, so I need to figure out what is, what number times 30 is gonna give me 90? That's what I need to figure out. And I'll figure out how much, how many fish Jacob has. So, what number times 30 is, how, uh, um, is equal to 90? Now, I can count by 30, so I can go 30, 60, 90. Or I could divide. I could say 90 divided by 30, okay? And if you came up with the answer of 3, you'd be absolutely correct. So, Jacob, so we're going to say 3 times 30 is equal to 90. So Jacob has three fish. Just like that, okay? All right, I hope you had fun today with this and you really need to remember these things and how to multiply it by tens or, or, or uh, and find the patterns, okay? Um, have fun today. I know a lot of kids today are gonna be sl uh, sledding or sleigh riding outside and um, we got a busy week ahead of you guys, all right? So uh, enjoy your day. Thanks.